So let's start with today's session with types of functions. In functions, there are of five types. First one is functions with no arguments and no return values. So the syntax for this function is this. So in this type of function, the first function calls the second function. As we are not passing any arguments to the second function, the second function performs its calculations, but it does not return any value to the first function. See here in the function 1, it will call the second function, but it does not passing any arguments to the function 2. After performing the calculations, function 2 does not return any values to the first function. That is called as functions with no arguments and no return values. Next type is functions with arguments and no return values. Functions with arguments means what? Function 1 will pass some arguments to the function 2. So here functions with arguments and no return values means in this type of function the first function will call the second function by passing some arguments. After calling the function, the second function performs its calculations but it does not return any value to the function 1. This is called as functions with arguments and no return values. Next type of function is functions with no arguments and with return values means function 1 does not pass any arguments to the second function but function 2 returns value to the first function that is in this type of function first function calls the second function but it does not pass any arguments to the function 2. The function 2 performs its calculations and sends the value back to the function 1 with the return statement. See here y, the variable y is receiving the value from the function 2. So this is called as function with no arguments and with return values. Next type of function is functions with the arguments and with return values. So in this type of function, the first function calls the second function In this type of function, the first function calls the second function by passing some arguments and after performing the operations in function 2, the function 2 sends back the result to the function 1 using return statement. This is called as functions with arguments and with return values. Next type is recursive functions. So what are recursive functions? The functions which calls itself is called as recursive function. See here function See here, this function is calling itself again and again is called as recursive function. So this is about the types of functions.
so next type is call by value what is the meaning of call by value with a simple program we can understand this concept so using this swapping of two numbers program we can understand the concept call by value so what is this program so this program is to swap two numbers so ash include io stream dot h so inside the void main i am declaring the variables so these variables are called as local variables as these variables can be used only within this function so i can call it as local variables so next void swap int a comma int b what is this this is nothing but function declaration next c out enter the values of x and y so using the standard input device the user is going to enter the values of x and y here after accepting we are calling the function here what is the function name the name of the function is swap swap x comma y so these variables are called as actual parameters or we can call it as actual arguments void swap int a comma int b so int temp temp variable is declared here so temp is equal to a for example if the value of x is 10 and value of y is 20 here before swapping so temp so temp is a temporary variable here so i'm passing the value of a to the variable called temp so now the value of temp becomes 10 next a is equal to b so here what i am doing i am initializing the value of b to the variable a a becomes now 20 next b is equal to temp so what is the value of temp the value of temp is 10 here so the value 10 is initialized to the variable b b is equal to 10 so see out x is equal to the value of x becomes a so a contains 20 the value of y becomes 10 so this is called as swapping of two numbers 
So what is call by value? So call by value is nothing but in this type of uh, passing the parameters to a function. So the function copies the exact value from the actual parameters to the formal parameters. So the value of x and y that is 10 and 20 is copied to the formal parameters a and b respectively. So this method is called as call by value. Next type is call by reference. Yes, this is our call by reference concept. So using the same program, we can understand the concept call by reference. So here what is a small change we have to do means void swap. Here in this we are referring to the actual parameters. So that is see here in the function declaration what we have done here void swap int ambient a comma int ambient b next in the function call as usual we are passing the values x and y here in call by value what we are doing the values of actual parameters are copied to the formal parameters but in call by reference the we are referring to the actual parameters by the formal parameters that is we are referring to the actual parameters so that is called as call by reference i hope you people have understood what is call by value and call by reference Next is passing default arguments to the function. Yes, passing default arguments to the function which means uh, default means in this type of uh, passing arguments in the function declaration itself we have declared some variables to the default value but while calling the function it is not necessary to pass the values again. So that is called as passing default arguments to the function. See in this example, float is the data type of the function name called interest and the parameters are float amount in type float rate is equal to 0 0.5. So this is our default argument. So this is our default argument. So while calling the function si is equal to interest 5000 comma 5 but we are not passing the third parameter here why because third parameter is our default argument so by default it will take the value and 0.5 here so that is called as 
passing default arguments to the function. Next is passing constant arguments. Passing constant arguments. So see here, in C++ we can declare some arguments as constants. So if we declare the variable as constant so that the compiler cannot modify the value of the variables in the program. So see in this example int is a data type of the function name total. So const, so const is a keyword int x and const int y. So passing constant arguments means in C++ we can declare some arguments as constant. So that the compiler cannot modify the value of the variable. See the example int total the name of the function is total the variables x and y are declared as constant arguments. So this is about passing constant arguments and the next type is passing arrays to the function. passing arrays to the function that is here we can pass an array to a function. So here we are referring the first address of the first element in an array so that using that address we can access the other elements in a array. So this is about passing arrays to the function. Next is passing structures. So here we can pass structures to the function by call by value method. The function will return the structure after processing it. So this is about passing arrays to the function as well as passing structures to the function. Thank you.